many of you have probably wondered why would I ever use control node when I can just use node 2D or even node or node 3D? What is the difference between all these? Well, today we're going to explain what control is and how it differs from node 2D. So the first thing you can notice is that node 2D, the first thing you should know about node 2D is that it has transform, so you can change its position. So anything connected or a child of node 2D will move alongside this position. Right? So as you can see, the node is moving. Now, it also has rotation, scale, skew. It also has visibility, so you can set that on and off, etc. So it has all the canvas items as most other nodes do. So in control node, the first thing to notice is that it has all the canvas items as well. It also has all these other ones and all of these are actually very interesting. Tooltip is uh, not new, but it, they changed it from hint in good old four. Um, so this, if you if you hover this, it says tooltip. The default uh, tooltip text, the tooltip appears when the user's mouse cursor stays idle over the control for a few moments. So if we were to test this, I've put a random bunch of random text. And if I hover, this text will pop up as you can see. But if I move, and I hover again, and I move, etc etc right the control node if we read it it says all user interface nodes inherit from control uh, a controls anchor and offset adapts its position and size relative to its parents now that last part is pretty uh it's almost the same as node 2d so we don't have to worry about that but that first part a all user interface nodes inherit from control this is a very good um tip in general because we have a lot of things we can do with control meaning we can kind of fix things or um, edit things with our mouse so here we have mouse we have uh, stop meaning if i have my mouse in here i can't actually click anything under it so um, i'm not going to test that right now but you can actually change this to pass or ignore um, i usually put on pass but ignore is also fine and there's a bunch of other things focus um, tooltip which we just went over localization and layout is almost the same as uh, no 2d there's already transform here but um, it's almost the same so we have minimum size, uh, transform, and all these other things. So I'm not going to go over all of those, but uh, I would definitely recommend you go through all those. And last thing I really like about control node is the node uh, signals. So if I look at the signals for both of these, as you can see, the node 2D has node, which most nodes do, and it also has canvas item. Now control has all those as well, but it also has all these other ones. And these are very useful because this doesn't just apply to the control node, but all the other control nodes inside the control right so all of these also have those um, signals and this is really useful because we have focus entered so if any sort of focus enters it whether it's a mouse or key or anything um, it'll send that signal same thing for exit but obviously exiting gui input so this is um, generally input of an event so like keyboard mouse or whatever and uh, there's a bunch of other useful things mouse entered and mouse exited are my personal favorite because i can check to see if anything moves in or out um, there's resize there's a bunch of really useful things that you can use for your games and the best part about this is that there's not just a node a control node for this but there's also the children right so if i were to let's say let the label actually we'll do panel if we go to the panel you can see it has the same nodes right so here and here are the exact same the panel has the exact same just because it doesn't it's not interactive but if i added uh let's see uh let's do something a bit more interactive uh tab bar i believe yeah, tab bar has its own node uh, signals, but it also has the control signal node. So this is very useful in general. So I hope you guys uh, now understand the difference between control node and node 2D. Um, hopefully that was simple, simplified for you. Um, if you guys like this video, definitely check out uh, the rest of my videos. I'm going to be trying to do a series on simplifying things, so that'll be kind of cool. I have a Discord that you should definitely check out, and I have a Patreon, and I have a Twitch. Definitely check out my Twitch, and um, yeah, if you don't, and I will come for you. So I will see you guys next time and bye-bye.